What are private files? Every user in Moodle has their own personal file storage area known as private files. This is useful as a teacher if you like to organise your files into named folders and then store them privately until you want to display them on your course. It's also useful for students if they start work during the day, save the work in their private files, complete it at home and then submit it to the teacher later. Private files can be accessed from the user menu if the admin has allowed the link or from the navigation block by clicking My Profile, My Private Files. Or there is a Private Files block which you can see here on the My Home page and which a teacher can add to their course page to make it easier for students to access. If we click to Manage Private Files we can see what it looks like. We can, if the browser allows it, simply drag a file into the private files area. We could click add and add from the file picker or we can create a folder and upload files into there. Let's create a folder called grammar and then when we click to create the folder we can then click into it and upload straight into this folder. I'm going to click the add button and go to Moodle's file picker which we see in a separate video and then choose the file to add to my private files grammar folder. We can change its name if we want, change the author if we want and change the license from the site default if we need. And then when we click upload this file it's important to remember to save the changes. If we don't we're given a message to remind us that we have to save the changes first. Private files now has the folder with a file in which we can access at a later date to display on the course. And finally, if your administrator allows it, you can send files to your private files as email attachments. If you're able to do this on your Moodle site, you'll see an email address in the private files area and this is the address that you use to email files.